All right, so today I'm finally doing it. I've been struggling with designing the new pricing feature for Prospero for like a week, always making up excuses why I'm not gonna do it, but today I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna start, find a concept, and design it all the way through. Even if the solution is not gonna be perfect, I'm getting it done today. First though, a little breakfast, catch up on emails, news, and I get started. It took me some time to finish all the small tasks that I had to get done for today, but now I'm ready, getting down to work. So got pretty good progress going so far. In the beginning, again, I was stuck trying to think how to do it perfectly, right? But then I was just like, fuck it. Just gotta start, just gotta do it. And got into the flow, got a good progress going. Taking a lunch break now, but I'm pretty confident that I'll be able to finish it off today. Squid practice really got me tired today, so I think I'm gonna take a nap, be back in 30. Okay, wow, my brain is overheated and melting right now, but I've actually got to finish all everything that I wanted to do for today, and I wanna share that with you. So let me show you what we have right now. So right now, when you create a proposal, you have this old wizard where we're asking you some questions, and after we ask you questions, we try to create, this, this wizard has a lot of issues from usability standpoint as well. Anyway, after you answer that, we create here three price packages for you where we price them differently and we try to uh, predict the price as well. But a lot of people were asking for other different ways to present the pricing, such as pricing tables, so let me show you. This is the new design, and now I've kind of reconstructed the wizard differently, asking you for a tone of voice, and then the project, client details, but what I really want to show you is this, the pricing strategy, and I've created here pricing tables, uh, value pricing, which is the packages like we had right now, and also retainer pricing, and if you click continue, if you choose, for example, the table, then you get a list of all the possible deliverables for the type of project that you created, and you can drag them in here, and once you drag them, you can rearrange them in the table and give them prices, and we'll calculate the, the total of the project or if you have chose uh, the value pricing, then you can have just three packages here and you can just drag things here and price it by the package, or you can check the retainer and it works the same, only you give the price to the retainer and you write for how long um, you're gonna work for that. And then we, I kind of use the same component for the timeline, like suggested um, phases in the project, and then you're gonna write how long each of them get, and this will create the timeline for the project. So, I'm not sure I've managed to solve all the problems, but I feel this is a major step up. 
I try to keep it as simple as possible, but still give people the, the options that they were uh, asking for. And what I showed you right now is the Envision. I put it on Envision to make it kind of clickable mock-up. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna contact some, some of the beta testers and I'm gonna show them this and see how they reacted. I didn't do that before and I think it was a mistake because for the first one, we I missed a lot of the usability issues, like I did bad design and I didn't realize that, so I think getting feedback from other people would be uh, great. But I wanna see that I've kind of designed the features properly and people can actually use them uh, correctly. So I'm gonna try to do that tomorrow, but right now, my again, my brain is like melting. I can't do anything else today. I think I'm gonna take a bike ride to relax. I haven't left the house the whole day, uh, but it's been it's been a really good day. I'm super glad with uh, how things ended up. So I'm happy. Hope you guys have a wonderful day as well, and I will catch you tomorrow.